Welcome to another edition of Gauteng Live, your premier platform where everything the golden economy, fashion, music, lifestyle gets unpacked, dissected, and we put it right to you. My name is Baba Khawkhanedewi, your champion host as usual today at the segment of the DSTV Delicious International Festival. I'm joined by the stylists, the bob stars, the fashionista, and everything else. But right now, apart from the many accolades that he has secured, he has been powering with this popular brand, Boys of Soweto. Popstar. Yes, sir. How are you, my brother? Yeah, Pim John. Ah, it's super nice. It's Good easy. to see you as always. Swanky as always. Uh, how has been, you know, starting and now DSTV Delicious showcasing proud yeah. South African now being able to work with Associates? Okay. Um, it's been a... Um an interesting journey. Um, Talib Kweli, there's an album here, Talib Kweli, it says life is a beautiful struggle. You know, and I've been through that where you feel like when you're starting, you know, and like nothing is gonna, nothing is going according to plan. You know, not realizing what you're actually planting yeah. and there'll come a time where you actually reap the rewards. You know. So it's, a, it's an interesting journey, but beautiful. Yeah, someone, yeah, someone said, uh, when you're obsessed with what you do, there'll come a time where every day it feels like Christmas. Absolutely, but when you love your work, you don't ever have to go to work sure. anytime. True that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just give praise to that. So, uh, platforms like these events where you are able to trade and showcase, I mean, Gauteng is known as the hub of you know, creativity, uh, an industrial province more than any other space. And uh, what have been some of the challenges, especially in your space in the manufacturing sector, when you are now forced to um, be able to source material, continue to do quality stuff in this world where globalization, you know, is taking everything, material from outside gets thrown everywhere and we are still required in our patriotic sense, but also in the love of producing good quality, produce out of our own experience and out of our own markets and out of our own material. Okay. So... My challenges that I've encountered, especially I'd start with sourcing a fabric. There is a shortage of high quality fabrics. And if you'd find it, you're not the only one. Yeah. You know, there's the Tepochini, there's yes. the Floyd Avenue. So if you miss that, Floyd might have the material that might bite that raw. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's that itself is a challenge. And I think we'll be having, having factories owned by us. We don't have that. So your money will tend to go to other communities. Yeah. You know, so there is no a circulation of a rent within our communities. Those are the kind of struggles that I see all the time. And you so you, you really you then realize that other communities are actually organized. You know, yeah. they've created a space where economy will flow, where people from other communities will come in and put in money. You know, and going back when you look back when I'm from a Soweto, but I've spent probably say last year two bar yeah. in a community that's outside us you know so email it doesn't go back to my community and that's caused by not having infrastructures not having like in factories and i think those are the things that we need to look at government needs to look at or us as entrepreneurs we need to look at but how do we then formalize ourselves and have our factories and so on okay, come back and just find ways of working with them yeah. economies of scale they're giving everybody yeah you know the same way um our ladies and mas doing grocery stock fairs. Sure. And we might take it light that mm. ah, it's just sharing grocery during December and yeah. the like. But that is still a culture mm. of actually firstly appreciating working together, mm. cutting egos, mm. working together, combining resources. And now you have the muscle to go buy in bulk. And you can imagine if now you start looking at what can we produce sure. uh, together? Why must we be buying uh, these in things that comes from the veggies that we could have actually planted True. Uh, uh, and the like so i i'm i'm envisioning um, your self tap or you know the guys from thesis yeah. and everybody else saying 
government here is us there's this place we have identified okay. it's good for location we will actually even be teaching other people how to manufacture mm-hmm. uh, can we have this as a pilot of this manufacturing hub that we want to, okay. to do um, do you do you see other guys ready for a venture like that funny you've mentioned the thesis so Wandile has reached out to me Wandile and, and yeah and, and, uh, LSG, they're yeah. concerning that we need to find a way. We need to find a way where we <clears throat> sit down together and and if if, if it's going to be sourcing, let's do it together. So there is an initiative, but wow. I guess we need to work on it. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. That's sure. that's the news I want to see because uh, if you don't do it, but you see with yourselves, you you just supported also by a very powerful Soweto brand. Sure. It's not just a place of domicile or place of sleeping. Yeah, this is actually a brand that is characterized by tenacity, working together. True. And um, I see this actually as yourselves, the pioneers, yeah. you know, and uh, following on the footsteps um, uh, of the likes of one dilemma, his soul rest in peace of yeah. action culture. True. Power, powering. How important is it to build a consistent and loyal brand? Um, um, and yourself, you know, uh, now having to represent this Soweto that is beyond a sweater or a jersey or a jean. Yeah. I think the question is how it, how important it is. It, it's it's imperative. And what I do then when I'm with with my with my designs, right? And with what I do on Naples of Soy to try to showcase a different side, right? Because if you if you just look at the culture that's been promoted, yeah. you know, it's a negative culture. Yeah. It's a culture that, that cannibalizes us, it, it affects us, it's detrimental to Hard like right. the habits that that, that the youth is, is, is originally engulfed in, uh, they're all negative. Yeah? And so with the boys of so to trying to show to actually kind of my out to you who are focused yeah. and at the same time tell a story to if you were con- what you believe in. You when know, you put money, you put effort in it, right? You put your energy in it, there's going to be a result. It's not like yeah. I'm the chosen one or, the, or, or they're the chosen one. You choose yourself. Put in work and try to move away from um, bad habits. It's not an easy thing, but if you do that, then say 10 years from now, you'll be in a different space completely. 100%. So, we, so we're trying to echo that as it was also it. I mean, I, we were talking to the entrepreneurs uh, the other time and then I went to the, 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 the school uh, of culinary and hospitality, mm-hmm. uh, the Boston College uh, the other week, and talking to the hospitality and tourism students and five of them, the first thing they asked me, how can we get money to start business? Mm-hmm. Um, and then I asked them, okay, whose business? And then they said, uh, my business. Mm-hmm. And I said, okay, you want money, somebody's money, to, to start sure. your own <laughs> business. Sure. Uh, how does it work? Mm-hmm. So how much are you prepared to put in? Where? Because you are saying this is your business sure. uh, yourselves. Um, what do you, what's your message to somebody who just think business is about people giving you money to do business? Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, a, it's a, you know, I think more education needs to be shared concerning that because it's a, I think it's an underlying belief that we have. But if you start something, you need to get them a funds and it doesn't really work like that. Your, your first investor is your customer, right? Um, so you need to work on a product, test it out. If customers buy into it, clown big if yeah. they buy into it, then you would have I'm a records get it. This is what I've produced and it amounted to this it and this these are my financials and clown big you can, proof of concept. Yeah, proof of everything. You've, you've tested it, you've, you've tested, tested it in it. the market and you see yeah. that there's a demand. Then you can look at peop, other people uh, investing or but for me now I'd say do it yourself, you know, do it yourself. If you really, really love this thing that you, you yeah. believe in this thing. Put money, put effort in it, right? And then it will result. Like I said, your first, I believe your first investor will be your customers. 100%. So platforms like this, just festivals and many others that you go to, I guess beyond just people buying, which is very important, mm-hmm. but the interaction with your actual uh, customers, uh, the people that carry the brands in their thousands, mm-hmm. I think it's such a crucial aspect 
but for you as almost a lifestyle, a people's brand, something that everybody resonates with, sure. how important is it to, beyond them buying, just interface for two days with your customers, with your loyal fans and potential customers? Um, on my end, it's important because I get to understand who are my customers, you know, because at times you might, you're selling, but you don't know who you're selling to. So, I mean, it's a study. Right now, I'm just observing and understanding who is my customer. What is it that they need? What is it that I need to work on? Yeah. Yes. yes. So, I mean, especially when uh, with this online sale and, sure. and sometimes you don't even get to see True. Uh, to see the customers. All right. So as we wrap up, what's in store? Uh, we are now <laughs> supposed to be in spring, but sure. the weather uh, just says us pull your sweater, pull your cardigan of boys of sweat. Sure. But what can the uh, customers, potential customers, look forward to as we now spring into summer? Okay. Um, I'd say definitely we are working on our spring summer drops so expect a whole lot of premium tees t-shirts um cardigans the one that i'm wearing it's going to come in different colorways the, the quality has elevated but we're offering a it's it's going to be a different offering um high-end tees that i've been experimenting for over a year so expect those type of items any possible collaboration with food and music i mean we're in a food and music it's, space yeah. like Sure. So I've done I've done a, a collaboration with an alcohol brand. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if I can mention it now. It's fine. We can mention sure. It. I've I've done a collaboration with Jägermeister. Okay. We did a drop cardigans. We actually have it in, in our yeah. store. We've got our shawls. We're gonna have a, a summer and a sub, spring and summer um, drop with them. I haven't looked at food yet. Okay. Music. I so I I do music as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, as, as, a, as an escape, as, yeah. a, as a hobby. A so game. there's going to be more offerings to it because Boza is really yeah. goes life. hand in hand with the music. Lifestyle. Yeah, music plays a pivotal role and just building us. Every day when you wake up, you listen to music. Yeah? Yeah. So it plays a pivotal role and there will be more offerings on that. Today is a tribute to some of the departed, especially the legendary artists that paved sure. the way for our democracy. Mm -hmm. 30 years. Uh, celebration of, of our democracy. Mama Yvonne will be on stage paying tribute to uh, Mama Brenda Fassi. Yeah. How important is youngsters that continues the culture, you know, to celebrate and honor our living and those departed uh, uh, legends, especially as we are now in September, which is Heritage and Tourism Month. Yeah, well, the month is such a, an interesting month because when you so September is actually our New Year. Yes, the start follow of the, the African Bantu. calendar. Yeah, yes. so and, and, and on the 29th is going to be my birthday. It's such an interesting time. But going back to your question, it's important that we create something, right, that the future yeah. kids will look up to. You. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, um, I don't like casting a mama, mama responsibilities to other people yeah but i'll tell you in a creative space we do not have we don't have facilities yeah you know you look at the my piano my piano are from the township Absolutely. and i know kids who want to record music and they struggle yeah you know i don't know if, if brands will be listening to this but they need to invest a lot invest in music or in the creative and infrastructure infrastructures for that, for yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. that's what i'm trying to say we yes. need infrastructures um because that's where the gold is you know all all these subcultures they're not from suburbs they're not from Sentin. they all come from the townships you know so to alleviate what's currently happening what will be um drug abuse unemployment if kids can record and make revenue out of that it'd be easy yeah yeah sure you heard it from himself the actual pioneer and driver of popular culture from Soweto, uh, Bob's, uh, he said it, if you don't do it, nobody is going to do it for you. Music, food, and fashion always play a pivotal role in intersecting and powering a message through. That was another segment of our Houting Live coming to you from the DSTV Delicious International Food Festival. Let's catch up again in the next episode. It's...